Ghana Records. Occasionally people come in. People come and in, actually, sometimes they're lost. They're yeah, looking for yeah they, they're looking for the um, funeral notice obituary clipping service that used to be at this address 10 years ago. We opened a record store when record stores were dying left and right. That was how I found out about music. I learned about stuff by going to record stores and I could ask the guy that was working there, well, I like this, what else might I, you know, should I try? We do our own thing and that's where our, where our niche is. We got Coco Clement. Chicago Buddies. Carl and T. Bobo. Local boy done good. Yeah. Too good for this town. Too good for us, for sure. We're doing his third one. Yep, third one's coming out next year. Yeah, right on. He's good. Digital leather. One man uh, synth punk and pop. More dark and just scary. And the Barbers, 45. These guys are funny. We like the Barbers, very poppy kind of stuff. The Carbonas, punk rock in the uh, tradition of Buzzcocks and the Boys and the Ramones. Guitar Wolf record was the first one. Uh, Jay Retard's first single when he was 15, banging on buckets at his mom's house. Eddie Current Suppression Ring, Raining Sound, live at Goner. Right. King Kong Barbecue Show, first record. King Louie, One Man Band, uh, Psychedelic Spectrisms. Oblivion single. Final Solutions. We did a single with Head. The leather Uppers. Yeah, the Leather Uppers. That's Quintron. That's a Big Snake. That's Voodoo Lady. And uh, that's Pussycat. Morgan Groover and Mayhem Maker from New Orleans. Ooh, we always do the first couple hundred copies of the record on colored vinyl. The collectors, they like colored vinyl. We've always sold more, much more vinyl than CDs, and that's been from the label, in the store, no matter what. It's a real thing, it's tangible. You can really hear it. It creates a sound that doesn't replicate a sound. So, uh, I like, I like, I like that. That sounds good. I mean, you said. And no stampedes. Safe. No lines. Safe. No lines at all. No one has been killed trying to get in here this year. During Goner Fest, we, get, we had people out the door, out the block. It's fun to have people playing in, in the shop. We don't have a lot of space anymore, but it's uh, fun to have. We always wanted to do stuff here. I mean, it's more fun to come here and have something, you know, attack you with a microphone or music. Oh, yeah, we got covers for the um, DVD. Awesome. We got to put the uh, Rocket Science Audio and the Live from Memphis in there, I think, somewhere. This is our little um, festival that we started doing in 05, a place called the Buccaneer Lounge, which is about the size of your grandma's house, and people came in from all over the place. Germany, England, France, Spain, uh, Australia. Australia, for some reason. Australia the represents. They like us. Japan. Label honchos from Italy. We knew um, we created something pretty cool, so it's kind of grown from there. People started tattooing our logo on their bodies. That's pretty much the ultimate, uh, you know, brand loyalty type of things. Used to be, you used to get free stuff from Goner <laughs> for getting a tattoo. It has to cover one entire limb, yeah. you know? Subject to review. Yeah. I don't know, I'm sure some people's hobbies make more money than our business. I don't think, I, I mean, we would have thought we'd be still around, still floating, trying to put out 75 albums next year. People are wearing our t-shirts and sticking stickers up and, you know, tattooing our tattoos, name on their bodies, you know, so that's pretty awesome stuff. Which way to go? Which way to go?